all right. So last but not least, Cowboy Bebop by. Yep. I will get spoilery on this one. You've been sure. warned, so no um, I, I'm not even gonna do the synopsis for this. I'll leave that for you. But I will start off because I have to do my synopsis. I have to do my little pre ramble for this, right? Now I'm just gonna see this right off the bat. I am not, while I am not the biggest, 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 biggest fan of Cowboy Beaver, what I mean is, I can't cite lines, I can't cite, you know, musical cues or scenes or moments, right? But I do love this show. It is one of my favorite TV shows ever. I own this on Blu-ray. I actually have the movie itself on, on DVD. It's not even out on Blu-ray at the moment, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. Uh, I, I know I didn't jump into the Tsunami route. Uh, I, I kind of found out about it a little bit later. Uh, I was just like intrigued by this world and you know it, it felt very much like you know very Blade Runner inspired right where right. it's a sort of like a multicultural multi-genre world so it's not just you know uh, Japanese individuals but you also have you know uh, Chinese you have you have Americans you have you know different cultures and races there but also it's a genre it's not just a sci-fi it's not just action you have new noir you have detective yeah. you have mysteries you have yep. different genres so you know and what really held it together was you know the music as well so not just the character well the characters one right you have great characters and great stories but also the music right uh this sort of jazz mostly like modal jazz that he used that so you know you get something very excited or you get something very mellow or something very sad and all that kind of stuff there and it's just the idea of just these characters who have different lives who find escape in you know who kind of escape the world around them through you know through some sort of illusion or some some you know something that's artificial that you know we like he's in point the character of ed right the hacker right who i'll talk about in this review here right, right. uh or, or spike himself we right? yeah. always think about the past right but you don't really know too much about the past uh fee valentine who kind of keeps her, her her past a secret right uh even you know jet who who acts tough but you know is is from years of like regret and all that kind of stuff that you know he kind of right. keeps himself right and it's just how these characters kind of bounce off each other right and also what i love about the show as a whole is how <clears throat> unconventional it was as far as what i have seen at at my age in terms of animation there. so it was mature but it was like oh my god, this is like for adults only. It just had a mature viewpoint in the way how, how people move and how, you know, how they interact with each other, right? It didn't feel like some Saturday morning cartoon. It, it felt legit as if they were drawing from, you know, from from film, from movies, right? From archetypes or whatnot, but just adapting it into this anime here. So that, you know, I mean, there's, there's so much other reasons why the show works, right? But to me, those, those are the main ones, right? So uh, before we get to your 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 thoughts on you know the anime itself, right? Uh, but the funny thing is, is is I I was like really introduced to the to that to to Cowboy Bebop through the movie uh, because right. uh, it was I think it was one of the earlier anime cities they actually premiered the movie, and that was when I was like, oh, this is what this Cowboy Bebop thing is about. Okay, this is right. Spike and this is Ed and all these characters. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And it was from there, that's when I sought out the actual series. Like, oh, okay, okay. That's where it is, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, this is one of my favorite shows ever, though. Uh, I have it up there, you know, me with uh, Samurai Char Blue, right? Which, uh, right. you know, it's, it's made from the same guy, Shinichiro Watanabe. Um, <laughs> while I do prefer Samurai Char Blue for the hip-hop aesthetic, yeah, and because it's just samurai shit, which I absolutely fuck with. Kawaii Bebop was was different, man. You know what I mean? It was it was a little bit more more thoughtful, a little bit more like wow, like, like we just it's you know, it was like a pastiche, but it was like the best pastiche of scene at the time and still is in my opinion, in terms of like just film repre uh, representation of film and film archetypes, right? So I, that's what I really love about it. And yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it is regarded as one of the greatest TV shows of all time, and rightfully so, in my opinion, right? Yeah. So when you hear that, oh, Netflix is actually going to make a live-action version of this, it's like, okay, you know what I mean? And I mean, like, we, 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 it's not like we're not new to the idea, you know, because Hollywood has been doing this for years. Like, case in point, Akira. We want to make Akira. We want to make it a live-action movie because Akira, the classic, the masterpiece, wasn't good as it is, right? We had to do a live-action version of it because, what, some dude create oh. Kanida's bike? That's, that's oh, all yeah. the reason. Oh, okay. Kanye, let's do it. Kanye, let's do a music video first. 
Right, right, with 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 stronger, right? Oh, okay, yeah. okay, fine, all right, Hollywood. But you know, Cowboy Bebop was one of those things. Like, like honestly, I didn't even like know that people was really, really wanted to make this into live action. Right, and then like it's just had a hit to do that. Okay, Cowboy Bebop live action. Like, okay, okay, we're going. It's, it's one of those and then they drop the the uh, then they drop the first stills, and you see John Chu and they're like, right, okay, you're serious with this? Yeah, all yeah. Right? And I'll stop here, but yeah, anyway, yeah. Yeah, what? yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the problem with this, sorry, before, before I get into this, this show itself, the problem is that it's one of those things that influence a lot of other things, and then if you're going to come back and do it, you have to come good now. And Thank you, that's why he was going to bring up too. Yeah, it fails for a very simple reason, and we had to get into that, right? So yeah, uh, so what Cowboy Europe is about? So it's about... Well, 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 sorry, but before we get to what it's about, um, just quick history with... um. With Bebop, um, the, the anime, yeah. like, is it one yeah, of your favorite Yeah, yeah not, not, I can't in good conscience say that. I, I watched it once. I, I got into it right before it was on Toonami, um, like, about a year before. I remember watching it and, you know, getting it on DVDs and, like, okay, I like it, but I didn't love it, love it. And then it came on Toonami for a lot of, and that, that's when it did blow up. And right. it's a lot of people who like it, like, love it, love it. I yeah, like, I'm, I'm not one of those. Even though right. again, I own the Blu-ray and I own the right. you know DVD for the movie, but I'm not like you know like I worship it. Like I know every single line of dialogue exactly. and scene. It's, it's one of those that things, that. Yeah, it's one of those things that just is a really cool somber thing. You know, all the jazz. You know, character work is great. Um, animation it just looks amazing. I just had a I just had an amazing irreverent style to everything. And that that is what I could imagine just blob for people. Like you know, it just especially when it went, especially when. You know when, you know Japanese stuff. You know, uh, uh, um, cultivate and utilize Western, um, a lot of Western music and aesthetic. That is why it works, right? It's just taking that and then just putting out a lot of Western styles in it. It doesn't feel Japanese at all. Um, and that's that's why it blew up. It just it was it was almost almost tailor made. It felt tailor made for it to come state side. Um, but yeah, I I um wasn't the biggest fan of it. I just was so I'm not super invested in this. But I was familiar enough with it to say, okay, let me see. I know what to look for and as a fan. But yeah, so let us get to Bebop. Sure, uh, sure. Yeah, what is it about? It's about this guy called Spike Spiegel, right? Uh, uh, also, well, a.k.a. Uh, Malilun. Well, since spoiling everything, fearless. Um, yes. And he is somebody who had a whole um, history and he's act like a kind of goofball, but really has a really, really unfortunate and dark history involving some people called the Syndicate. And basically, what he does in the current timeline is be, is um do jobs with with uh, a guy called Jet Black, who yeah they basically bounty hunters. They'll just get a, a bounty, go look for them, sort them out, get paid. That's pretty much it. And there's a whole backstory with, with all these characters. They also meet another character called Fear Valentine, who also another bounty hunter who has amnesia via um cryogenics. Right, so that is what, what her whole bag is, and when you learn her backstory, is really really unfortunate. Um, when and it dies what it is. It's just characters who all cool, but they really traumatized at, at heart, and really really sad, you know, backstories. <laughs> that is it. Sad backstory, the show, right? Ah, uh, yeah, and that, that is pretty much it. In in a great sci-fi universe setting where the the world has been, um, they have expanded, humanity has spread around, amongst the solar system. Um, I don't know how it's not. It's never clear, clear to me how far humanity has gone in terms of exploration. But they seem to be occupying pretty much the solar systems. Because they, they mention about a, in in total I, I, in the anime, I think they mention going as far as Pluto. Pluto is a Pluto is a prison colony. Um, and that's I a, think that's so. A, I think that's yeah, that's, uh, that's as far as that's far as, as far as they go in in terms of the, the world of Bebop. It's just humanity just flourishing all over the solar system because if they learn to terraform planets and make it relatively easily to hospitable to um um to, to human life and, and relatively well flourishing well being you could live your life. Uh in fact it, it the only planet that seems to be the, the most of our mess ironically is Earth itself. Like they didn't yes. like want to go back and sort out Earth. <laughs> like you know Earth actually will still be hospitable if you make an effort to terraform it wherever. That's normal world building thing. They, you know the whole point is to show how shitty the future is though. Uh yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Um it, it has all these side characters, men like like Piero Le Fou and a bunch of like old films. Yeah, one of my favorite characters from yeah, yeah. the anime. I'm talking yeah, about which, him too. Which which again we no spoilers, spoilers, full spoilers. They royally fuck up in this. Boy. Yeah. 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 I absolutely hated what they did with him in this. Um all right, so let me just get, before we start, let me get the good out of the way first. 
let's get the good. Yes, because there is good. There is, there is some good in good. this. Right? Yeah. I could not, I know I was expecting this to be com- like a complete shit show. I was expecting much worse, to be honest. I you know I I's one of them men when when it comes to stuff like this, I, I grease my bottom, right? I was expecting this to be horrible, like really bad. Like I, I thought I would be I would have hate watching it now. But I was like, yeah, it have a couple moments and that doesn't that's not so bad. And I'll say the only stuff that really works is some of the character stuff, right? They made a couple changes, a couple of int- introductions, and I thought some of that worked, i.e. Jet Black, right? I thought Jet Black, agreed, agreed. most of Jet Black's changes are good. They give mm-hmm. Jet Black a daughter. That works. Um, they get they get an actor I really like, Mustafa Shakir, right? Um, yeah, Bushmaster, yeah. Who, right? I forget was Bushmaster yeah, from Bushmaster, season two right? of, uh, of, yeah. of, of Luke Cage, which, by Luke the way... Right. It, there's, it, it was cancelled at the absolute wrong time. He could have yeah. gotten us season three. Oh, yeah, really. yeah. But um, there's a moment in this where he had Jamaican rum, and I keep thinking that was a, a reference to, to Luke Cage. Oh. Uh, I think it was episode <laughs> eight or something like that. Anyway, yes, um, um, yeah, I thought, it, was, it was eight. It was eight. Yeah, yeah. I think every like, as I said, every episode, he everything involved in him was good. They, they, they made one big change, and it was a good change, which is they gave him a daughter. Like at first, I remember I was like, "Wait, did he have a daughter from the anime?" No, he didn't. No, no, he they didn't, add that. Yeah. They add that in, and it, it it really works. I'm giving him part of his arc. Um, the people complain about the race change thing. That was not a problem for me. Like I always interpreted um, Jet Black as as uh, like Southern European, maybe North African kind of character, like mm. Telus of Alice, basically. Like that's how I interpreted him. So making him Black African is perfectly fine. I don't really have a problem with that. Yeah, uh, I know some people will lose their minds with that though. But I like, well, well no, they, but they, but they, they make another change that's a, with another character that I I expect people to lose their minds off of because I was like, when I when they when they see, when I saw the other character, I was like, oh, they're gonna do this then, all right, and then they did it. Uh but yeah, Jet Jet's arc is fine. Like I didn't have any problem with it. second characters are Fee, right? I thought fake arc is fine. They, they didn't change much. It's roughly the same arc, but they changed one thing about Faye that it doesn't necessarily feed into her arc, but it's a big change, which is apparently Faye is gay in this, right? Or, 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 yeah. or bisexual. Um, so here's the thing. In the original um, animation, it never it was kind of always up in the air of what her sexuality was because remember the whole point is that she's a kind of, you know, sultry type figure and that's the whole... Yeah. Her whole approach when it comes to, to doing her job and doing the mercenary work. Mm-hmm. Um, well, not mercenary work, um, what do you call it? Um, Bounty, well, Bounty the Bounty work. Hunted work yeah. yeah, so that's why, but it, it, it didn't bother, bother me too much, but it really felt like a studio note. That totally felt like a studio note, what it did with her there. Um, because it changed, it, it effectively changed the sex of a character. Another character who was a man in the, in the, in the anime. And I'm like, okay, this, this totally felt like a studio note. It didn't bother me too much, but it, like, it felt like, oh, like a box check now. Like, oh, we had to do this because, you know, it's Netflix, right? So everybody making a joke, she's been Netflixed. Uh, whatever. Um, Spike, Julian, Vicious, I hated almost all of that. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, boy. Almost all of that. No, Spike, when he pressed being Spike and just being a, a kind of just a normal asshole Spike, not bad. I wasn't hating any of that. I thought John John Cho was okay. But when they got into the backstory stuff, Vicious sucked in this. I did not like Boy. Vicious in this at all. He did not work at all. Agreed. Absolute agreed, rubbish. Agreed, agreed, hated, agreed. Hated it, hated it. Everything involved in it, he hated it. Now, here's the thing, eh? We're going to get, so I'm going to get into the, the first bad. This is the main bad. We're getting into character stuff. But really, the real failure of this is just production. Right? Everything. Almost everything, in my opinion. This was, like, from a production standpoint, was terrible. Everything felt clumsy and amateurish and cheap. Um, editing, blocking, and choreo- choreography in particular. Like, the fights, the edits, the, like, dread, cut this now. You know, lay on this shot. Like, everything just felt so lame. I, I, didn't, I wasn't excited for any action sequence. Everything else, like, it had this one moment where Piero LeFou had to, like, jump and move about. And it's like with that that clearly on string though, like Dalek and Royal shitty and cheap though. Like, wow. <laughs> yeah, they're talking about terrible. Um, yeah, that's the main reason why this help. Because here's the thing: for something like this, sorry to say it, you need to do high production value. The, the reason why something like Dune works, because they had high production value. You may not be into it for it's for what it is, but you have to have high production value. So when you make your changes, your creative changes, you won't mind as much. You have to, you had to spend your money. You had to, I don't know, for season two, they need to get some actual, look, 
I know the people they work hard on this, eh? but it should still feel way too much like a YouTube fan film kind of thing, Jared. That too much of that, Jared. Like, eh, it, looked, it is so bad. It was so bad. And then that fed into like um vicious because a lot of vicious moments is like, oh, he's like this badass and he, he cutting this and killing this person. But when they, they do a fight scene with him, it's like, yeah, this this world's looking like just shitty and lame and really dicey camera angle they're gonna take with that and like, like, when he tried to take over, when he decided to take over the syndicate and, again, spoilers, kill his dad. Um, oh, great cameo, by the way. That was, um... Yeah, well, I'm John, I'm John Noble. I'm like, John hey, Noble, you know like, mean, yeah. I, again, playing that dickish yeah. dad, right? Like, right, when he did right. with the boys last Hit year, boys. right? Yeah. the boys. And, in, of course, in, in Lord of Rings, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh... Well, but I'm going to talk about, because, that like, that scene fight. in particular, where he's yeah. taking down the, the, the syndicate uh, like, members, the, the, yeah. the heads, right? I suppose terrible. I should feel like really excited by this stuff, yeah, but here's the thing: just 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 to continue there for a bit, right? Music for that moment, right? Okay, here's right. some like traditional Japanese music with some drums and stuff. Okay, fine, fine, here's fine. The, thing, eh? the, that, the, the okay. backgrounds and shit. Okay, okay, okay. But everything else is just bland. It's just all okay. right. I, so, I know. Okay, I, I I see what's going on, but it not it. I'm I'm not feeling this. I'm not feeling this. It just feels stylized, but in the worst way. Here's the thing with that too. It looks like they, they they cheap out on that because when I hear in this music, it's like, look, I know it's it might be generic Japanese music, maybe for action sequence, but it sounds identical to the first level in Ninja Gaiden. It's the oh, same song. Okay, okay, okay. I think it, I think they just take the same song. Like it's the same song. It's, it's Bobby Shmurda and, and and um you know we call him um Tigna. Oh shit, uh, um, gosh, Lloyd I'm Banks. Terrible. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. 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 It's Bobby Schmidt and Lloyd Banks, right? Uh, like, is the same fucking song they use though? Like, I listen to this, like, wait, I didn't the same song from Ninja Gaiden? Is the same? I it it sounds identical. Mm-hmm. Like they didn't make a new a song for this now. And it's, it's them kind of things that is is are talking about. It's like I'm not feeling this. It's the, the editing so bad. It's slow. The, this like when it the dialogue when they break bouncing off each other. Some of it is good. Like some of it is good. Like Mustafa does a great job as Jet, in my opinion. Um. What do you call him? Ting, uh, Cho, Cho does a great job. Yeah, John Cho does a great job with 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 thing in terms of like just a couple of moments of them bouncing off each other. But when they do their own thing, it's fine. When it's time to like try to replicate a scene from the anime, horrible, absolute rubbish. It does it does not work at all. Um, what's the last thing, boy? Yeah, I think that's about it. Like it, it nothing nothing major about it. They oh, the story changes. So. They make a bunch of interesting story changes, right? As I say, they make fake gay this time, all right, whatever. They add on um the plot line for for with 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 Jet Black's daughter. That's not bad because they write out the way they end it, they write out effectively, right? So he basically don't have a daughter anymore. Like, even though she's not dead, it's like she just effectively estranged from them at this point, right? Uh but then they change Julia. Wow. What the hell? <laughs> I will talk about it. That's a real big change, though. Like, no, okay. So last, last line, and then you'll talk, right? Uh basically, I get a feeling that they just decide to water down the whole thing by deciding to. They, they, are, they have the exact opposite problem I have with all of these anime. Like, my main problems is you have ten pounds of shit in a five pound bag. This time they they went the opposite wrongs, right? Now it's just five pounds of shit in a twenty pound bag, right? It too much, um, you know, everything just felt watered down, right? Because they clearly want to do stuff for, for future seasons. So you, I don't understand how you could have a show. The show is 50, 50 minutes. But yet you have something that references in a 24 minute episode. And they do it so much worse now. Like that whole first episode. They're like, really? That's how they do this shit? Yeah. This, they, it, it just really like pace out horribly. And cut badly. And like, I, I, again, I ain't no big super fan of the original. But I just decided that's you know, make a comparison from first episode to first episode. I'm like, yeah, the pace, just pacing. And and how to cut cut stuff together and there's editing. On that level, it feel real hard, Jared. And they clearly decided, they said itself, they want to just change up everything in season one and then they want to push it for more material in season two because they want to have four seasons of this and make it go longer. Because if it was just if it was just a one-to-one like um relationship, it would have I think it would have been okay. Like if they, if they just cut stuff and make it one to one and make a couple of small changes, I wouldn't have a problem. But they do the exact opposite problem, which is it's too much and they want to invent us the extra shit. To put it in some of the extra stuff work, but most of it don't work. Uh yeah, so that just me for that for now. 
All right, where where do I begin, boy? Uh, I'll I'll try not to make this one too much of a of a of a you know a essay, right? Yeah. So yesterday I tell you recorded, right? I I I watched this, right? I, I tell myself, all right, ten episodes, roughly ten hours. You know what I mean? Like I I, I not talk about back to back, but I mean like if I step away and do things, right? You know, so I get myself a little energy drink, up, uh, you know, sipping on it, I watched it, right? And by the time I finish, watch this, right? You know, usually when you drink and you drink sometimes you just feel like a little high, but then it's just kind of come down. So that's how I was feeling like by the time the show ended, like, you know, the high was coming down. I was like, okay, okay, this is, this is season one. All right, all right. But then as the high was coming down, the more I started to think about what it is I saw, boy. Yeah. The more disappointed and the more frustrated and the more infuriated I get while I was just thinking about what I sat through. For 10 hours, Jack. And I'll begin with this, right? So, yes, I do agree with you with the good, right? Um, you know, the 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 I would say yes, the the, the acting for or I'll say the, the actors put on sorry, I would say the actors that they got for this yeah. really put it all into it, though. I mean yeah. John Chu, yes, he is old as hell to play Spike, right? right but right. he he nails the mannerisms down. Yeah, you, stuff, can, tell, right? you, you, you can tell you know, I, I like to think of John Chu to Spike is like what uh Mahershala Ali's to blade. Like yes, they yes. clearly wanted to do that shit back then. Yeah. Like, like if we had a, a cowboy bebop movie in two thousand and five, he would have pushed up himself to play it. Like it, yeah, it's that yeah. Like, you get a feeling you really wanted to push yourself up to do it. So, like, look, you finally get a chance. And he's still looking good enough. You know, you're not looking too 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 ridiculous or anything like that. It's fine to maybe. So, yeah, like, yeah, and, yeah. And even that I, moment where he, he shoots, like, all right, man, yeah, like, yeah, looking good. Yeah, cool. Exactly. Yeah. So, it, nothing, um, nothing was like, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah um, yeah, Mustafa Shakir. Yeah, I thought that he was, he was, he was near spot on perfect as, as Jet Black, though. He got the mannerisms right. down. Uh, right. I actually appreciate the fact that they, you know, they have this this thing involving um his daughter and well, you know, his ex wife basically, right? There was this pretty annoying moment involving him going out of his way to attend this dance recital, right? And you know, well, I'm even going to say how that plays out, right? I actually thought I, I just, actually thought that was actually a good moment. That was funny. Like I thought okay. that was, again, it's out, it's out, it was just kind of outer outer. It's it was just out of the story. It was just like it yeah, just to detach from the story. That was the problem. But I, I thought again, good, good character. Like from a character standpoint, it's fine. And it's a funny bit with what they do with it. Like yeah, I thought, yeah. and it's a funny enough bit. Like again, I wasn't laughing, laughing. But it's like yeah, okay, it, it yeah, got yeah. chuckle. It got smile and a chuckle, yeah. right? Yeah. And, but I, and I actually do appreciate how they bring back the daughter in right. the in the in the uh, in the final episode. Like oh my god, right. like this is how real this shit is, right? Right. Um, Daniela P- Pineda, right? A lot of people was harping on she because she don't look nothing like like Faye Valentine and all that kind of stuff, right? right? I think because this is the first time I've actually seen her in anything, right? I actually like her as an actress. I like the yeah. screen presence that she had, though. Um, even though some, not all of her dialogue, you know, compared to like what we saw with the, you know, with the original um, Free Valentine, kind of came off, how to say, not not childish, but just annoying for the sake of annoying. Like, you know, like, yeah, yeah, you also she... have to call people dickwads and nut right. jobs. Well, and okay, so they, 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 I don't remember. It, it, it just made her feel, it just made I... her come off a little too childish than right. the, you know, the, the you know, the, the femme, the, the, the femme fatale, now, you know, the woman, right. you know what I mean, that, that the character is, you know? Yeah, 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 no, right. Yeah, yeah. as I say, I don't like the dialogue for her, but they gave her range later when you find out when it's time for her to like do her stuff and you know yeah. when, when you talk about her backstory or everything like that. Because yeah, they do the tape thing, right? And I'm like, yeah, that's right, like, right. And, and, and they make it yeah. work. It's yeah, still, that, it's still that, that was a, yeah, that was that was a great moment though. Although the the lead up to it, I didn't really care for at all. Her right. meeting her quote unquote mom and right. this journey with her just dragged on, and I felt like where where that ended, boy. I was like, wow. Oh, sorry, where it stopped off. I would say before that videotape thing. I was like, wow, this is all they're going to end this and all they think this this shit funny. Okay. It wasn't funny to me. You know what I mean? But yeah. Right. Um, also, visually, and I know we're talking about Netflix budget. Visually, I would say that they put effort. They, they put a considerable amount of effort to at least get the look of the world, right? Um, a lot of people, I hear people complain about it looking too artificial, looking too right. fake, all that kind of stuff. To me, it's like, all right, it's, it's, it's the 
there's the future, is the nature of shows like this anyway. It looks way better than than you know, like like sci-fi shows that I see like on the CW dread. You know what I mean? I know that's not really seen a lot, but still, right? All right. So I would say there was effort put into making it no, look uh, the way. But no, so, okay. But, so some some set design is okay. Like a lot yes. of the the bar nightclub stuff is good. That's oh fine. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like right. those, like yeah. those nocturnal scenes in particular. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right, right. All the night, right. Yeah. All the night stuff. The night urban stuff were good. So like they had yeah. all the. Yeah, those are actually a great moment, by the way. Though um, there's a uh, episode five involving um, involving uh, Jet, his backstory. Like right. just the visuals itself. Right, right, right. That yeah, that a lot was, of that was, that was fine. Was, that was yeah, excellent. yeah. Where he was um, and they had this whole back and forth with Bird and and Tigna. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right, but no, yeah, um, they, yeah, they had this one scene with a, a, a like a, what is a two, two night, sorry, two like, yeah, yeah, two, 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 brothels. two brothels, two brothels, two brothels. right, yeah. yeah, good, like all of that's fine, like, yeah, it, 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 I don't have, I don't, I'm not hating any of that, but um, as I say, but then all of the like the big day shots and open stuff, it does look terrible, like most of that looks terrible, yeah, like, like, yeah, it, it, it just it, looks, I didn't, oh, like, yeah, the T1 is so yes, much, yes. Right. it's like, it's looking terrible. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, yeah. It, it just doesn't feel organic, man. That that that's yeah. the problem, right? Yeah. Um, the music, yes, it's 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 great because it was always great because it's the li- literally lifting from you know what we've heard in the series thus far. We we hear a few new joints, I believe. Um, I I can't really tell you what they are, but um, I mean I I I, I could tell it is you know it's new stuff, right? Um, also, you, you see a few new characters as well too. Like you see Anna, she's this owner of this jazz club. Um, you know what I mean? And you know, um, she 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 actually was a really compelling character in in the show as well. I would say, right? Um, Gren was a character that they actually changed up too. So um, yeah, they didn't know, change they didn't change people. Gren too too much. Like like okay, Gren's change makes sense to me. Yeah, I don't have a problem yeah, yeah, with yeah, Gren's yeah. Yeah. right. Uh, it, it was it was kind of funny seeing Punch and Judy though, you know, with the right. the, the, the big right. shot too. Yeah, it's like okay, they're doing this. Yeah, they're doing, right, they're doing, they're doing okay. Yeah. Right, it's, it's, right. Uh, okay, right, right, right. So that that's as far as praise goes, boy. But to get into the flaws of the show, how 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 best to see it, right? Again, no one to stay too long, right? It's like. Someone comes into like it's like whoever's involved in the show, right? Let me just say you directed the show, right? And you are like a big super fan of of Cowboy Bebop, and there's a dream of yours to turn this to live action, right? And everybody keep telling you, you know, this this can't be done, this can't be done, it can't be done. You keep telling yourself, no, I could do it, I could do it, I could do it, right? Okay, we get this this guy close to his fifties to play Spike, even though Spike is like what? It is early twenties, but whatever. Right. He looks like him, right? And sure, Daniel looks nothing like um like yeah. what's his face? Like 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 Faye, but uh, you know, she she doing her thing, right? Okay, fine, 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 fine. But then you have the goal now to just change story arcs, change storylines and all that kind of stuff now. And you could tell me, oh well, you know, we, we have to kind of explain it to non fans, right? So right. I will talk about the official stuff in a bit, right? But you have a diehard fan base to this thread. You know how big of a deal Cowboy Bebop is, thread. So at the very least, what you could do, what you should have done, is just keep the core story and change. Just add things in. Don't really change too much, but add things in, right? I'll throw two examples, right? Just just random movies that came to my head, right? Uh, Blade Runner, Blade Runner 2049, right? Right, right. Denis Villeneuve could have come and say, "Oh, Blade Runner is one of my favorite movies of all time. I want to remake it because I love this movie so much." It's like, no, he respects the first film so much. He's not even going to touch it. But if I had to make my own version of it, let it be a sequel or a prequel. You do a sequel, right? He does not do the same. F- he doesn't redo the story of the first film, but he draws inspiration from the first film and adds his own stuff into it. So the second film, his film, works. You know, self-contained. It works on its own. Even though, yes, you, you do have to know about the world of the first film to understand it, right? But both films are so well made now. It's like, you know, they could stand on their own, right? Another example I'll throw here, and I'll stop, is, um, you know, King Kong, right? I know, I know. I'm bringing up all these random references, but you'll get what I mean, right? Yeah. Uh, the 923 version versus, say, the Peter Jackson version. Peter Jackson loves um, King Kong, right? One of his, uh, probably his favorite film of all time, right? His version, love that. One of my favorite versions, yeah. right? But that kept the core story of what Kong is about. So even if you have the 1983 film on some pedestal, you could still look at, um, at you know, Jackson's film and be like, 
yes, this kept the core story and he added all these different elements that he, he tweaked a few things, but it's still the same story that I know and love. So you could still kind of have both films up there. I mean, it's not like, you know, you, you should throw away one, you know what I mean, and keep the other one. And that's right. why I feel like watching this, like thinking about it afterwards. It's like the anime exists. People love the anime, right? Even people who not into anime could jump into this and appreciate it for the most, right? And here you come now one day and say, you know what? It would be cool if we actually put this in live action. You know what I mean? Like people right. need to see this in live action, right? No, as, but you're as, not as I said, doing anything. You're not adding exactly. anything. You're not really making I, things better. As, you're just as I tweaking said, things just because. Well, yeah. you know, it's an adaptation, so I have the right to change things wherever I want to. But here's right. the part. I'll stop here before you come in, right? Only a few of these of these changes make sense, like the jet black stuff, a little bit of the fever type stuff, but everything else around it though just doesn't work. And in particular though, um, uh, Spike and Vicious boy, see that that was the straw that broke my back, boy. Yeah. And I'll get to that in a bit. But yeah, go on, Mason. Yeah, no, as I say, it is one of those things that takes so long to sort itself out because, as I say, once we, we, we reach the point of God, is it a galaxy? Like, if you're not going to do it on that level of production value, it makes no sense doing it. Agreed, Just agreed, don't agreed. do it. Like, but the, that's the main problem with this, you know. If this had a big budget, like they say they had Disney money, it wouldn't have sting as bad and it had good editing and the action was actually good and they get somebody who really talented like a Zack Snyder. Well, you know, not Zack Snyder, but you know what I mean? Like somebody on that level who could really like bring something to the table with it. Yeah. But this mm-hmm. thing just feels so cheap, Jared. That is the problem, Jared. No, it, like, it is, it is. And yeah. it's like, nah, man. Like the main, main problem. If, the, if you had a solid foundation of production, it would have been fine. But this just was, was nonsense, Jared. It yeah, I, I I agree. Something like this really needed a bigger budget, man. Um, and and it really shows. Like as much as I appreciate the visuals in this, though, yeah, I mean, with with a bigger budget and you know just a better director. No, f- sorry to say this, but a better director, someone who actually understands the material and know how to you know adapt it to our times. Case in point, Peter Jackson. Yeah. Let's say that he should have made it, but look at what he did, you know, taking a classic like King Kong and making it, right. you know, using state-of-the-art technology, um, visual effects, right? That's the point I get at, right? And it would have, it would, it would have worked so well, right? Now, the, the, the thing that, that, that had me worried, that had me a little, little, little um, optimistic was the fact that compared to something like, say, Bleach or um, Death Note, which we covered right. when they came out on Netflix, this right. was a episodic show. Right. Cool. Yeah. Right. We're right. So See, I, have I thought it was right. time to do things, yeah, right? Yeah, more time to do things. But they, they do they take too much time. That's the problem. Because no problem. This was our multiple seasons, you know. Like again, if this was a one-off as is, like just 10 episodes, you crunch some of the big beats from the 26 run, the 26 episode run. You take all the some of the best beats, crunch that down into your 10 episode run. It could have kind of worked. Like I felt that could have worked, but no, they decide to like stretch it out now. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the, and the idea is that, you know, so you're now introducing Ed at the end of the first season after 10 episodes or however. It's just like, wow, that's a real change. And then they change up. Like, I don't talk we, about Ed just they, they, they change up what they do with the dog and, like, wait, they leave the dog, but what? Why? Uh, yeah, on. yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. right. Because so, dog is like a robot now or something like that or, like, some hologram taking she head. Yeah. Uh, where? yeah it's just these calls that just make no, yeah, sense, no sense, right? right? Yeah. So, you know what, like, you know, like in the first episode, you could kind of forgive, okay, they're doing the red eye thing. That was in the right. first episode. Right, yeah. All right. Yeah, everything was they, there, they, yeah. They, they, they put in feed there. Okay, I understand because you don't want people to be warning, hey, where's that Daniel chick coming in, right? So they, they squeeze she and okay, fine, whatever, right? And then two episodes, she's not there. Then she comes back and like, oh, right, she's still there. Okay. You know what I mean? So it, it's, it's those calls there. So just to touch on just things that just look measured, right? So, all right, you, 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 you make fee gear, right? Okay, I understand, right? right but fine. All right. It, it totally feel to, like a studio note, but whatever. It is. No, I feel so. It, it, it is, Dread. And the excuse is, well, you know, she was in cryo sleep for so much years, so she didn't know her for past and all that kind of stuff, right? right but right. you, you yeah. literally shoehorn it now with this with this episode where, for, for reasons, the bebop, right, the actual ship is down, so, you know, Jet Tire, one of his friends, this this really hot-looking uh, <laughs> mechanic to, to fix right. it now. And then it just so happens that the mechanic's into women, right? She's into right. women, right? So, and they just have the scene with them talking about, you know, um, orgasms just, just because, right? 
But you'll tell yourself, right? Okay, the show would at least be brave enough to, to at least stick with the fact that, okay, she is gay, right? And then near the end now, you know, the girl just like up and leave and just say, well, you know, I got to go. So, you know, I'll see where I see you. What? That's <laughs> the so thing. It, it, all nothing, drama nothing. about set up who she is, you know, nothing. the sexuality, yeah. all that kind of stuff. And this kind of ended like, oh, well, yeah. But, 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 and okay, to right. be fair, the, the show have you know, right. So I think it's in the moment, yeah, the episode involving um her her quote unquote mom, right? Where you see her like looking at this magazine now, and it's like, oh, I'm I'm in, I think I'm into boobs, I'm into butts. I like again, yeah, sounding childish, right? Yeah. Makes it yeah. just sound childish, right? You know what I mean? But that that whole that spike at vicious thing, boy, boy that really pissed me off, right? So vicious, right? Who is a great? Who, who, who remember for the anime was a, was a competent enough villain. I wouldn't say he's like the, one of the greatest villains ever, right? Right. But in this show, boy, in true Netflix fashion, they have to to just spend so much time on this guy and show yeah. us just how evil he is. So like, yeah, there's literally terrible. a moment that comes out of nowhere where he goes into his own like drug running, whatever it is he does. In this, yeah, yeah, that's right. Piece. I just yeah. guns down a bunch of like workers yeah. and I'm like, yeah. all right, like, okay, I understand you all want to be stylized. You really want to show just how evil he is. But and again, it, it just again, felt pointless. Trip. Again, because everything edited so shittily. Uh, yeah, scene, oh yeah, that, that, that scene was edited. Yeah. Uh, was, was that, edited. that one. They were scene, going for, okay, like real super stylized Tarantino. Right. I thought so. Guy, too. Guy, um, oh. You know, uh, what, yes. what's his name? Guy uh, Ritchie. Guy Ritchie. Yeah. And it just felt like like just calm and copy, but in the worst way. In the yeah, worst maybe. way. It, and then, and then uh, like I thought they would do something more interesting with a lot of that. Like the only moment that had some cool violence and, and like stuff with it is the whole eco terrorists and what they were doing. That was okay. Oh, I, yeah, I, okay, I, yeah. Yeah, I was like, all right, I, I could yeah, I, I I do it. Some fans didn't like the changes to that though, but I was like, okay, right. that's not your cool shut yeah. up. A, essentially a character to, to a tree. I was like, right, okay, that's, right. that's yeah. deep stuff about that, right? right? Yeah, um, but, you know, and you just watch it vicious, though, and you just spend yeah. so much time on him, and you just see just yeah. how insecure he is, and then they, they make him into a cockhole, basically, because, like, yeah. well, you know, his wife, Julia, right, who is given more screen time here now, you know, she wasn't, well, you know, he kind of learned, you know, from the anime, she, you know, she and, and Spike were the thing, right? You know, way back when, right? But it, they just stress it so much now. And then yeah. with the character of Julia, boy, like... They make I, a big I, change I, get, I, I get what they try to do with her, you know, be her just feel like a victim in right. this toxic relationship. I, I get that, okay. But I'll, I'll get to the final episode a bit of what they do with her, right? That that did not piss me off too, right? But it's just all this thing about, you know, uh, I, I, you know, I mean, I, I need to get rid of, 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 of Vicious and I don't know what to do. Uh, help yeah. me, you know, that kind of stuff, right? And, Wait, Spike's still alive? Oh, and all that kind of stuff, right? But the straw, the straw that really, really broke my back for me, though, was episode 9, boy, where they had the audacity trend. And this is right after they, 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 they royally messed up uh, Peril of Food trend. Yeah, one of my know. favorite villains, of it, right? Where, or, uh, we, 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 well, actually, I should talk about that, right? So, you know, he's not just the crazy psychotic guy who who tries to kill Spike in this um rundown, you know, um uh Carnival. Carnival, right? No, yeah. no, no. No, they have to give him a backstory, right? So yeah, he yeah. hates dogs now and Yeah, for some reason. Yeah, for for some reason, right? So, like they'll explain they'll, they'll probably explain that later because like he had control of the dog and again Clearly, they're trying to set up a lot of fan shit for the future. Like clearly they want to build more now and do more world building now. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. He connected to dogs, but he freed dogs so he could control them, but not really. It's a yeah. whole thing. It's dumb. But Ayn, boy. And I was, I was, I was kind of wondering if how Ayn was going to come into the story. And I, I did right. appreciate how at first it was, oh, it was a gift for, for Jet's um, daughter, right? Right. I, like, I, I dig that, right? But then things didn't work out, so now he was right? Okay. But then just out to the blue in episode 8, they drop a reveal, boy. And when I see it, I almost cuss, boy. Ayn is a robot dog. Okay, so here's the thing. Eh? No I didn't get... I didn't get I, I, it is, it's possible that Ayn could still just be cy- cyborg, not fully robot. Where So it's just the inside the eyes now, or something like that. Like, I don't think I, it's a I, full I, robot. I just see it like that at all, though. Okay, because... you think it's a full robot? Oh, well, that's, that's a problem. Thing because I know yeah. Ayn to be an actual 
dog. Like, yeah, a real so, yeah, dog. Uh, yeah, a biological dog. Exactly. Yeah, so to come and say out of the blue that, oh, well, it's, it's, it's a dog. Yeah, Piro used it basically to communicate with uh, with, with Spike and them. That's, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I was just like, what? Just yeah. how, how, how? Like, out of the blue there. And in this world now that always talks about artificiality and all that kind of stuff, you think any of the geniuses on the Bebop would have known it was a robot? And then, uh, and then Daniel, again, love her as an actress, right? But having to do the whole childish stuff, right? And for some reason, I was thinking about, um, oh gosh, Will Smith for a while. I was with the, that is a man's head, which yeah. is, that robot has, you know, lasers coming out of it, out of its eyes and real freaking out there, just looking yeah. terrible in my opinion, right? So you do that. And then they, they just drop the dog off just so, yeah. and they never get back to him. Right, and but it's somewhere it, it, on a road somewhere. Yeah, it, and you want to tell me, well, you know, in the next season, we'll see what happened to Ayn. Well, it, it, Ayn it, it, just well so we, see, we see Ayn at the ending with, um, with Ting. What do you call it? Um, Ed Fine Ayn. Clearly. Like, we see Ayn at the end. Uh, I'll last... talk about Ed. I'll talk, 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 yeah. talk about Ed. I'll see Ed for last, right? But yeah, boy. So, that episode 9, boy, that, that, that really pissed me off. Boy. That, that's when the high was coming down for me. That I, I literally was was just being this feeling. I was just pissed off, Trent, because in true in true uh, Netflix fashion, though, you have to explain the, the 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 dynamic between Spike and and um and Vicious, and when they were younger, and they were working for the syndicate, and they were assassins, and they were friends. Yeah. And, Julia comes in and they fall, you know, Julia falls for um for, for Spike and blah 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 blah. And he used to call him fearless and he's such a ruthless killer. And then they had this this painfully annoying setup. In the same episode with the whole uh, reveal of you know um thing of, of Phoebe Guido, this pain this painfully awkward subplot involving Spike investigating some future reality thing. Right. And he ends up in this which place I, and he's which seen, I don't um, you see What's Julia, that? Julia's just tell, talking to him down and saying, yeah. you're a bad man and you know what I mean? I left you because you're bad and I, I like... Uh, I don't hate, I don't hate that, that, uh, that, that um, what does he put, the VR loop episode? That yeah. That's alright, but again, still, looking cheap after, like some Oh, that cheap... look real cheap. <laughs> no, here's the thing, eh? look, you could do cheap, you could do virtual and I get that the idea is that, well, everything's supposed to be artificial and fake, but he had not know to do that even as well. And it was just looking like after effects Yes. Cheap after effects, um, you know. You, you saw it, like the, the artist yeah. filtered the, 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 Filter, the artist, yeah. man. Like, wow, Amazing. boy. Yeah, that corners, is how all you could be the artificiality of this world. That's all you really do this, man, really. Yeah, but yeah, that, that episode nine run me up a wall. Yeah. And, you know, you could see, well, you know, Roman the anime, you never really established, you know, you, you didn't really see what happened with Vicious and Spike back in the past. So here's your chance. Now you're getting, getting a chance to see it. And I was just bored out of my mind. I didn't care. Fish yeah. just look more, you know, insecure. And they all played it off like, you know, like his father, like, you know, played by John Noble, always he always hit the donor. And then he will just act cruel and violent to everybody else to prove everybody wrong. I get that. But that just made a really competent villain for the for the anime just unlikable dread. I just hated him. Every moment that he was on screen, I hated him. I hated the way how he treated women. I hated the way how he treated Julia. And it was just there for me to get a rise and make, oh, this is why I should hate Fishes. It just felt painfully unnecessary dread. So now to the final episode by um which I was real excited for, you know, be given the whole thing about, you know, jet daughter being kidnapped and all that kind of stuff, right? And they're doing the same scene in the church and all that kind of stuff. But here's the thing. That was the final episode of the series. Yeah. Why are we bringing this up in season one now at the end? And then you want to tell about what we're going to get at season two, right? But what they do, they take the final episode of the anime and pretty much condense it down, water it down in this, in this show for no reason. No, that's what I keep telling you. They, they're trying to make, I feel they just want to make more, you know. Because they, they have Watanabe consultant. So yeah, yeah. they clearly want to do more. Like, I get the feeling that they want to build from that and do world building. Because what they do it again? Well, I get to Julia. Yeah, let's let's get it. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. change that whole thing, right? Like, so Julia now is the secret leader of the thing, and she uses. Well, what the... she wants to be, she wants to be a. Well, well she have him. Like... She have him under control because he's supposed to be invisible, so they know he attain the position of power in the thing. But yeah, she, she controlling all of that because of she have him locked up in a basement somewhere. Now. Yeah, like, yeah. 
But well, before that, like, like okay, she take advantage because she shoot him and all that kind of stuff. Right. This is after a fight that I, I was supposed to be amazed at. And I was just like, yeah. wow, this is it. Yeah. Between, oh, no, uh, be, be, between, uh, between Vicious and Spike Chess. Yeah, that fight was shit. Terrible. Yeah, like, okay, y'all, y'all are with a gun and I'm out with a katana. I should be amazed at this. No. This was just like, oh. Okay. Now, here's it again. What was straight is that even what y'all do? Here's it again. It looks so cheap and half ass. And, like, anybody remember, um, what do you call it, by uh, that old Christian Bale sci fi movie? Like, um, Equilibrium. That, Equilibrium, right. That cheap. Two that was cheap. That, like, give him two guns, not one. No, my point is, my point is choreography. Like, sit down and get yeah. two good choreographer fighters to work with that shit. Make a real kick scene and then make it work now. Nah. Nah, Lazy. nah they, they, didn't do that. they didn't do that. That's such a but yeah, editing. Yeah, but with that thing with Julia, though, um, I think that would be one of the most controversial decisions made for the children because yeah. really, she just kind of, well, yeah, she becomes the bad, she becomes the villain, basically. Yeah. But I would have let slide, though, if they didn't I felt like it went against her character though, because now she's seeing. Because if you take note of how she started off the conversation with um with 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 Spike, they're like, "If you knew I was a, if you knew I was a lie, why did you come and save me?" You mean acting as if, well, you know, it's his fault that she in this situation for so long. They're like, "You married him, man. Like you, or, or unless I don't know, I don't know if she was forced into the marriage. I didn't uh, see that. Yeah. But you're real it up like, oh, well, you wasn't there for me, so you know what I mean. I I just don't like to be oppressed anymore." So I need to get rid of you and all that kind of stuff. And Spike is just like, well, no, I want to be with you. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? And she shoots Spike and he falls through. So, you know, again, it's the same thing from the, from the uh, finale, right? Yeah. But again, because you want to have, you, want to have, um, you know, a, a second season. Spike died in that moment in the original though. But he is, well, no, he fell conveniently yeah. into the ocean. Yeah, and yet he comes back out and, and he's he walking wet, normal. right? Walking yeah. normal. You just yeah. have bruises on the face and whatnot, right? He normal, he normal, right? Because he he fell at that at that dis- at that distance, right, into the water. He he normal, right? Anyway, right. Now I do kind of appreciate how the characters split up, though, because that was always that thing, like especially with uh with Cowboy Bebop and Samurai Champloo, where you the characters will be together, then for some situation they will split up and then they'll come back in the next episode. So I kind of dig that, though. It did make for a downer of a of a closing moment though, but I was like, yeah. alright, this this kinda going back to B6 though. And I I and in the back of my mind I was like, alright, I, I know this should end right at this point here, you know, but something coming and I know what it is. Ed boy. Yeah, terrible. Just yeah, that just that establishes shot of Ed. Is one of the cringiest things you will see in anything this year, boy. This, 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 this. I was just like speechless, but like, wow, that is how you bring up Ed. This is the scenario that only bring up Ed. Right? Now, yeah. I'm not gonna knock the you know the performer played it right, and, and actually they got a non-binary um, performer to play okay, that role, okay. right? Okay, like, okay, 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 okay. But okay. I understand Ed is a weird character. No, okay, stuff. No, because you know they kind of left it hidden. They're like, oh, you're probably not gonna see Ed because, like, in my head, I thought it was gonna be hard to translate a character like that because, you know, because the character is fairly but um non-binary. No. Right. But what I felt would have worked though is that because it is one of the um lead characters in the show, one of the most popular characters in the show. You tell me, in one of those episodes, one of those filler episodes, if you want to call it that, right? You could just squeeze in Ed. You could not bring him in in the episode that is literally called, let me pull it up, that is literally called Binary Two-Step. The yeah, one where, 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 where Faye comes out, you could not bring in Ed there. No, let's just bring Ed at the very end and let Ed be annoying just for the sake of it, right? You understand, yeah. Ed is a weird character, but the way how, how you put treat here, and annoying Ed, as well. Another thing, another small thing, there's not, again, Ed our footwear for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And so be barefoot, <laughs> you know. No, no, no. To be fair to the show, we we wrap it up a bit, right? To to be fair to the show, right? They did him at oh the hacker Ed, right? They did do that. They do that. So yeah, when I saw that, I was like, all right, they're gonna bring him in soon, right? But they they wait till the very end, right? But it help because Ed help out with the um yeah I think no. the yeah 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 um right. and yeah in 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 that same episode six yeah. right yeah but he slapped to my face though. <laughs> 
<laughs> was what Ed said. Because Ed said that, you know, I need your help. I need you to stop the butterfly, man. Now, if you remember the movie, there was a character, right? By the name of Vince. Uh, let me see if I get the name right. Right, Vincent, right? Who was distributing this drug, right? And the drug, when you took it, you were seeing these butterflies, these glowing yellow butterflies, right? So when I heard butterfly man, I was like, wait now. So because Vicious is no longer <laughs> going to be a big deal, you know, going forward now, you're going to bring in Vince and you're going to make him be the bad guy in the, in the next season. All this serious. Are they really, really serious, right? Like, this is all cutting it, all they are with this material. Yeah, I tell you, they're going bold, they're going bold. I mean, it's clearly a bunch of people who love this thing. Anyway, all right. So, let me wrap this up. Yeah, let me wrap this up, right? So, in closing, um, this was, this this had to be one of the biggest disappointments of 2021 for me, boy. I I can't really say who this is for. It can't be for non-fans because if, you know, because, again, the anime exists. So, it's like telling the person, hey, Check out this, this live action version of this existing thing that exists. Right, Sorry, yeah. of this anime that exists. Of course, the person will ask, so which one should I start with? Of course, obviously, you start with the anime, right? So when you see the anime and you compare it to this one, it's like, well, it's like apples and oranges. Right? It's just like, yeah. well, why why, why should I bother to watch this live action version? So really, who is this fortune? And I can't help but feel like this is just some vanity project. It's just from someone, yeah, no, a over. super fan who just really wanted to pay tribute to it, right? But, you know, he wanted to do his own thing because, you know, the word adaptation, right? But just couldn't shake away the fact that you have a diehard fan who loves this because, you know, these stories were great as they were. And last thing before I get to read it, let's not forget to mention thing too. What makes this series work? But for, uh, I mean, it's just right there in your face, right? They were short. They were 23 episodes, yep. series, 20, yep. 25 episodes, yep. uh, minutes long. You're stretching this thing out to 50 minutes and you expect me to care. I can't. I'm sorry. Yeah. So yeah, fans are gonna fans are gonna despise this. Non-fans probably might look at this like, oh, this is pretty interesting. I should actually check the anime. But when you check out the anime, believe me, you'll be like, wow, you will see the gradual difference. So you will see the gradual difference in quality trend. And you'll be like, Well, why should I even care? If it gets a second season, I will be glad because yeah, there, there's room for a lot of improvement though. Right. But um I, I call this right now. I don't think you'll get a second season of this way. If, if it does, okay, great. That'll be uh, fine. I mean, they have a second chance to fix this up, boy. But um, I, I don't see that coming. I don't see that happening anytime soon, man. So, yeah, for me, Rita Wise, I'm going to give this a strong two out of five. But I, I want my money back. I want my time right. back. I, I I got jacked up off a monster for nothing, Dread. Yeah. It, it, you know, like, and all it could have just done was just build off of the core story uh just the the yeah. core stuff that made the original great there was it was right there it was right there for you yeah, to they, do they, 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 i know you speak all these weird twists and calls and changes and stuff a few of which work but then the rest of it is just like why dread why 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 but i don't want to ramble on too long i see too long at this so ricardo last thoughts really yeah, um, as I said, the main problem is that it stretch out things to a full series where one off really sh- instead of a one off, it should have been a one off, right? In my opinion, if they just did the twenty six episodes and crunch that down into ten episodes, ten longer episodes, like forty minute episodes, you take some of the big beats, some of the changes work, but mostly changes don't. So just don't try to experiment with that. Just get you know change stuff that's safe that you could understand why a studio you know like making making Faye a lesbian is fine. I don't really have an issue with that. That's, but it's clearly a studio, you know. Yeah, but, but, I, but, I, if, it, but they didn't even follow up on that. They didn't do anything It's just like a it. one-off thing. And just like, no, but the thing is, they just changed, they, they yeah. changed the sex of the character who she was into anyway. So, like, that was the change, you know. So, it's like, whatever. Like, it didn't really, it was irrelevant to the core issue. But they had to pay off that. Again, if you're paying off the full series, do that. But they didn't do that. Um, as I said, you know, stuff like, like, um, what do you call them? Jay's, Jet's Arc? Fine. Do that. Yeah, but yeah, then, yeah. Yeah, whatever. So stuff that's safe. You can't you add on a small daughter role, that's not a big problem. But whatever. Right. Uh, those, those those are smart calls because they add already to what we know what about we know. the right. character. Right. But don't just take what we but know about the character the and change is, it because well it's you know it's live action, man. Yeah. I feel that's like that's like the simple reason. Because it's yeah. live action, we could do so much more with it. But you're doing right. less threat. That's the problem. Yeah, anyway, so they, they just they stretch it out in all the wrong ways. Um, you know. 
I don't know. I for me, I give it a really low score. Most mostly because of the the bad production. If it was if it was good production and and they did the fights well and they did the action well and they edited well and the, the special effects look great. Special effects look okay, but I st- it still look cheap. Um, I would have give it a higher score. But yeah, for me, at this at this is three point five or three out of ten. I'll say. Um, pretty bad. You're gonna make more worse than less worse worse than the earless, unfortunately. Yeah, like, yeah, for, that's for, sure, for sure, for sure. And the funny about. thing is, like, I don't even have like a worst TV shows of the year. Like, I've never yeah. had it on the show at yeah, all. But gonna, um, yeah, this 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 could be a first way. This is going to be a first way. Right, right. Oh well. <laughs>